Angel Medical Systems, a company based in Monmouth County, has gotten FDA approval for a life-saving device called the Guardian, who will keep an eye on your heart. It's designed to solve a very large unsolved problem. Uh, as most people know, heart attacks are the number one killer of people in the United States. But if you don't die, it's often even worse because you end up with severe damage to your heart that can lead to heart failure, which is uh, not only the most expensive uh, thing to the health system of the United States, but it also is incredibly debilitating with patients spending many, many weeks a year in the coronary care unit and intensive care unit to care for their failing hearts. And then ultimately uh, it is, uh, uh, creates mortality for these people. Part of the reason the rates are high on this and it's still the number one killer is the only way people get to the hospital today for a heart attack is first of all they have to have symptoms recognize that those are the symptoms of a heart attack and then pick up the phone and call 911 so they can get to the hospital quickly and today uh, at least half of the heart attacks either have no symptoms or symptoms that patients don't recognize and on the other half where they have symptoms they wait too long. Everyone wants to wait and see if it goes away. Uh, and when it doesn't, they finally get to the hospital three, five, six hours after the symptoms started. And by that time, there is often damage to their heart that is irreversible if they survive it at all. Uh, and so the Guardian was uh, conceived to give a early warning for many of these potential heart attacks so that patients would know to pick up the phone and call 911 right away. They wouldn't wait to see if it goes away and it would work even if they didn't have symptoms or had unusual atypical symptoms like pain in their arm or terrible indigestion. The device is designed to be implanted in the left side of your chest, very similar to a, a pacemaker or an ICD. So it's a well understood uh, procedure. It connects to your heart with a wire, just like a pacemaker or an ICD would. The difference is our device monitors your heart 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. That's why we call it the Guardian. And it has a, a proprietary, uh, highly sophisticated algorithm, software algorithm that runs inside it. It's like a little computer. And it analyzes your cardiac signal all the time looking for the change that is a signature of uh, an occlusive event, meaning a coronary artery is getting blocked, which is what causes heart attack. When it sees that change, and it's much more sophisticated than I'm alluding to, it will alert you as the patient. The device itself can alarm right in your chest. It vibrates. It also can send a message to this pager which our patients carry around and the pager has little blinking LEDs and also beeps so you can hear it. So you get three different modalities of, of alert and what the alert is telling the patient is we've detected something that's serious, potentially life-threatening and we want you to call 911 and go to the hospital as quickly as you can. And in our pivotal trial that we performed at over 100 sites around the United States, uh, we proved that that alarm and that warning from our device is a more accurate predictor that you're actually having an event than symptoms alone. It constantly not only looks at what's happening now in your heart, but creates a model over time of what's normal for you and is comparing that normal machine learned uh, basis against what's happening now to be able to detect these uh, potential uh, life-threatening events. Well, how does somebody uh, go about getting this device implanted? Do they have to speak to their cardiologist or if somebody's ext suddenly experiencing heart problems for the first time, they're, they feel that something's not right, they go to the hospital and then they follow up with a doctor, do they get put onto a certain list to uh, apply to get this device implanted? Do they have to go through yeah, an insurance sure. process? Or? Sure, it's a great question. Um, the device is intended for people who have survived a previous 
ACS event. And ACS can be a heart attack as well as unstable angina. So you have to have already had one. That puts you into a much higher risk category. And that's really uh, who this device is intended for. In addition, if you have comorbidities, meaning you also are diabetic or you have uh, kidney problems and, or you smoke and you're overweight, things like that, that also increases your risk for having a recurrent event and that makes you a candidate. But the device itself would have to be prescribed to you by a cardiologist. Does it just detect when somebody is having a heart attack or an ACS event or if there's a, a smaller scale event going on inside, inside their heart that it'll alert them to go see a doctor, go get, get something checked out, no matter how small or large the heart issue may be? Great question. Uh, clearly any device that monitors your heart 24 hours a day is going to detect other anomalies and some of them might be serious uh, even if they're not an occlusive type of event and yes so our device is designed to uh, monitor the heart rates as well as rhythm and so if you if we see uh, ups, you know issues that arise because suddenly their heart rate has changed dramatically uh, or, or persistently or now their rhythm, they have a very irregular rhythm and things like that. The device is designed to give a second alarm. We have two types of alarms. The emergency alarm is what we've been talking about, which is for a, a heart attack ACS event. But there's a see doctor alarm, which is much less urgent, has a very different pattern, and has been proven to be easily distinguishable in our pivotal trial from the emergency alarm. Patients are instructed when they get that alarm to call their doctor, their cardiologist, make an appointment, go in and see them within the next 10 days, 7 to 10 days. Because there's something that de being detected which, because of your high risk, it should be evaluated. Through the, uh, the clinical trials and then the research you guys did in developing <coughs> this and, you know, seeing what worked and what didn't, uh, what was the reaction you got from the people that were involved in the trial with how they reacted to the alarm going off, the the guardian going off, and alerting them to something going on. Did are there any numbers of how many events or episodes or heart attacks it actually prevented? Or well, you know, if you prevent it, it's hard to know yeah. uh, that you did. But we do know that there were uh, 42 patients over what is about a quarter uh, the life of our, uh, of our commercial device um, out of the. Uh, 900 or so that actually ha had the device implanted that were told to go to the hospital and when they got there they had one of these ACS events including heart attacks but had had no symptoms whatsoever. This is brand new. No one has ever been able to get totally silent uh, events like this into the hospital that can be really beneficial to the patients. And gentlemen, thank you for your time. Thank you. The Guardian device is put in like a pacemaker under a local anesthetic and the procedure takes less than an hour. The battery inside the Guardian needs to be replaced every seven years. In Eatontown, Vin Avenue, Town Square Media News.